Be good, be kind, and love yourself. Welcome to Entertainment Jits with Kali Obi, aka DJ Kali. And we got segments for you guys on Entertainment Jits today. We got the new segment. We got the woman crush of the week. And we have to go out on the streets to ask people what was their favorite movie while growing up. So stay put, relax, and be good. I'm still here with you guys on Entertainment Jits. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And you're still on Entertainment Gist with Kaliobi. And this one is coming from Peter of P Square. That's Peter Okoye, who's selling Osaze, the Nigerian footballer, that he looks sick and he needs help. Recently, Osaze wrote to Peter of P Square saying, as he wrote, he said, you're robbing people in broad daylight with your nonsense business. And now you want to take even Christmas from them. You know they fear God at all. And Peter Opisque responded by posting a chat between him and Osaze, where Osaze said Pisque's music, that Peter Opisque's music brought him closer to God. And Pisque, in his own, we all know who Peter Opisque is, responded and posted it on social media saying, but coming to spill this rubbish just because you feel you're now closer to God. Bro, my music never brought you closer to this, your God. Bro, you have been brainwashed, period. And you look sick and you need help. Wow, that's a serious talk between two friends. But I know they're going to make up and not break up any longer. <laughs> not that they're dating. And the next gist is coming from the popular comedian Sheila, who came out to say he has forgiven Kemi Ululoyo and... He has accepted all her apologies. Popular comedian Lawrence Oluwa Sheito has publicly accepted Kemi Oluloyo's apology to the excitement fans. If you remember at some point, Kemi Oluloyo constantly trolled Sheilo's daughter, Tiwa Oluwa. The comedian in a post which he shared on his Instagram page said he appreciated the controversial journalist for reaching out to him and his family and he has put their differences behind them. The father of one also said, her actions taught him that mistakes will be made and can be amended. And he also supported her movement, Let Love Lead. Finally mentioned that 2020 has taken a lot from people, so it made no sense for any fight or ill feelings to continue. Meanwhile, it earlier reported that Kemi Oluloya also called for love as she apologized to celebrators she has offended. According to her, she wants all industry beef to end in 2020. From David O, Linda Ikeji, Yabo Joe and many others. We say a very big thank you to comedian Sheyi Love for forgiving and thank you to Kemi Oluloya for apologizing. So to all those she has apologized to, please don't take the forgiveness to 2021, okay? 2020 is the best year to forgive. And still on entertainment, just on this one is our popular singer, Nigerian singer, Whiskey has won a second Soul Train Awards. Nigerian singer Ayo Balogo, also known as Whiskey, has won won his second Soul Train Awards alongside Beyonce for the collaboration Brown Skin Girl of the Lion King album. The award, which took place recently, saw Chris Brown emerge top winner with four wins out of 12 categories, followed by the HER, which won two awards, Best R&B and Best Female Artist. Thumbs up to you guys for winning and we know you guys will keep winning. So let's go on this break. You're still on and it's the main gist. And when we come back, we'll go into the woman crush of the week. Compliments of the season and it's that time of the year again at Swift Dry Cleaners in our Wash and Win Big promo from the 1st of December 2020 to the 31st of December 2020. Simply wash with us at Swift Dry Cleaners for up to 15,000 Naira and win something really amazing for Christmas. Isn't that amazing? And we offer 20% discount on all your beddings and curtains for the month of December. And we are available to make your laundry easy with our home pickup and delivery services and we are only a call away. Simply call 07 Seven zero double six six three eight two one three or zero eight zero two nine five nine seven one eight zero or walking to any of our amazing stores at Lekki, Okwepi, Ogba, Aja and Olowora and feel our care. Sweet dry cleaners, quick wash, impeccable look. Welcome back from that break. You're still on Entertainment Gist with Kaliobi. And today, our woman crush of the week is going to a more sexy. 
Omotola Jalade Ekainde is a talented and prominent Nigerian actress. She's one of the leading Nigerian actors as well as one of the most followed and respected actresses in Africa. She was honored in Time Magazine's list of 100 most influential people in the world in 2013. Wow, besides gracing covers of magazines and beatboards, Amatala is a passionate activist, entrepreneur and a family woman. Born 7th February 1978, nicknamed Omo Sexy, is a Nigerian actress, singer and a former model. Omotala is from Ondo State and was born in Lagos. She grew up in a family of five. Omotala has featured in top-rated Nigerian movies such as And that's all we have on the Woman Crush of the Week on Entertainment Gist with Kaliobi. So now we're going into the next segment on Entertainment Gist on the street to ask people what was their best movie growing up as a kid. So come with me and when we're done, we'll come back to the studio and we'll draw down the curtains. Mm, actually, Sakaba, you know, was honey. Oh, oh blue. Oh, go, go. Those here. Oh, 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 which movie do I like? How about you are using too much grammar? Hey, the movie I like when I was growing up is a movie called Iburo Tankwairo. Yes, it's a Hausa movie and very, very interesting one life. Welcome back, guys. We're May and we're calling it a wrap on Entertainment Just. Yes, we're bringing down the curtain. I hope you guys had fun because I had fun with you guys. Yes, on Entertainment Just today. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page, Miss underscore Kali. And all our social media platforms is showing below the screen. Just follow us and we'll follow you back. And please be safe, be good, and continue to wash your hands. COVID 19 is real. Ah!